Alrighty, so we are here with the Cycleboard Rover. These are coming into the country in the next month or two. I think end of September they should arrive here, possibly October. Turn it on with this one switch here. Yep. And? So that you can see the battery. Yep. The speed. How many Ks it's done? Yep. Like that. Yep. And then what's the assist? The one is mode, so I believe it has like four or five modes. Okay. So if you press up and down, you'll go through the modes. Yep. Five okay. modes, yep. So you're probably starting mode one. Yep. The interesting thing about this cycle board is you can't actually steer it like a regular scooter, this way and that way. Oh, yeah. So it's more of a lean. So you're leaning with the handle and you're leaning with your feet on the board to, to steer the, the wheels there. Like this? Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels stable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're in mode one? Yep. All right. And then, um, so do you know where the brake is? Yep. Okay. Um, only use that if you need to. Okay. The brake actually has a kill switch as well. So when you apply the brake, uh, the motor will cut out, as well as braking the rear wheel. Um, nothing much to do, but just give it a go. So just ever so slowly ease on the accelerator. Oh. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> A safety feature I forgot about. All oh, right. You actually need to be moving um, slightly for the accelerator to operate. So you're still going to have to put one foot down and give yourself a little bit of a kick, a push. Uh, maybe a bit more of a push. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there she goes. How yeah. is it? Yeah, good. Easy? Easy. Easy ads. All right, follow me. We'll go on a little cruise. There she goes. All right, you go in front? Yeah. I'll lead the way. Do a big turn here. See. Let's see if Stella can follow us up this ramp. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. She's doing it. She's following a one wheel. That's close. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> oh. oh, she's done it. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell us what you're thinking and what you're feeling, Stella, as you're riding this cycle board. Yeah, it's just a bit of a different feeling um, to what you'd expect on a scooter because a lot of it is your body movement controlling the actual board rather than the handles, which you'd typically expect yeah. for movement. So with those handles, you're basically just using them to hold on. To hold on, yeah. Yeah, but the rest is with your body. And interesting how Stella's chosen to ride it with um, two feet side by side. Is that not what I should be doing? I really don't know. Okay. You've got to figure out what, what works for you yeah. best. Have you ridden it before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you stand? I, I experiment. Sometimes oh. I put one foot in front of the other, and it depends how aggressively I want to corner, I guess. <laughs> I try. Trying different foot <laughs> techniques. We'll go <laughs> right when you can. Right here? Yep. See how you can go turning it. Do you want to see if it works on the grass? Okay. Ooh, it does.
Alrighty, so what do I think of the soccer board Rover, the off-road three-wheeled electric scooter? Well, let's jump on and have a chat. Look, straight away you'll see that it's easy to use. And when I go down this hill and over this big drop, boom, boom, uh, the front 10 inch tires with loads of air were barely even bothered by that. So it's stable and it feels safe. The acceleration is smooth. There are five modes and it's quiet too. You can hear surrounding cars and surrounding factories more so than you can hear the motor from the scooter. What are some of the drawbacks? Well, look, it's huge. No question about it. And it's heavy, 37 kilograms. But it makes up for it in the battery power and the torque. So it'll have a range of about 65 kilometers. And we just can't wait to see what happens when we take it off-road. It's gonna be a hoot. Look, the guys and I have pushed the limits on the concrete as far as you wanna take it without coming off the thing. It does turn very tight corners. I'll see if I can do some now. Sorry for making you dizzy, but that's the great thing about this soccer board is this front axle, it turns, the both wheels turning by your leaning. Um, so you don't have that situation on your traditional scooter where you're, you're turning like this way. You're leaning and you can corner at speed. Uh, the rear brake is on the rear wheel. It doesn't have front brakes because if you hit those front brakes down a hill, wham, you're gonna go straight over the front. So it's good they don't have front brakes. Uh, it's, it's very well thought out. It's great quality. And yeah, it's big, but it just feels like it's not gonna come apart. It's built like a tank, this thing. You are up high as well. I do have a tall stance on the road. But for those of you who like a no-fuss vehicle, personal vehicle just to stand on uh, and get moving, then this could be for you. It's got a very wide deck for, for putting your feet on. You can stand with two feet side by side, or you can stand like this. And now look, I'm about to go up this hill. This hill is actually too steep for trucks, so they had to put an extra coating on it to give the trucks grip and the soccer board gets up it with ease. We are up to about nearly 20 k's per hour going up that hill and it felt like I could have pushed it further. I just was holding the camera. Uh, we already do have quite a few pre-orders on the soccer board. So I just am really happy because I know these customers will not be disappointed with the soccer board. So jump in and grab your pre-order when you can. And uh, we'll have these in October 2021. We also will be having the golf version coming too. So that's Super cool. All right, now for the specs. The specs on the Cycleboard Rover. It has a range of 50 to 60 kilometers. It has an 1100 watt hour battery, a charge time of five to six hours, a weight of 37 kilograms, a rider weight limit of 125 kilograms. It has an hydraulic rear disc brake with an electric cutoff. It can climb hills up to a 30% grade. It has a 60 volt, 1800 watt brushless hub motor. It has five modes and the deck width is 25.4 centimeters with the front wheel base at 63.5 centimeters and the length of 113 centimeters. Thank you.